Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. Guys, yesterday we had some really, really sad news. Uh, Kobe Bryant, uh, the legend basketball, the icon basketball player, lost his life in a car, in a sorry helicopter crash, uh, with alongside his daughter. Guys, my bo my basketball knowledge is very limited. Um, I live here in the UK, and basketball, although it's you know people, there's a lot of people that are interested in basketball. It's not a mainstream sport. It's not a sport that, you know, as young kids, we were brought up watching or even playing for that matter. Um, but there are certain names in basketball that really stand out to me. Even the limited knowledge I do have, I know some basketball players and guys like Lebron James, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Steph Curry. These type of basketball players really stand out and they're not just got a name around in America but around the world these guys names are very powerful uh, I'm not just talking about UK obviously basketball's biggish here not big but biggish you know people know about it um, but even in like like places like Asia where you would think basketball is not popular at all it, you know these guys have these guys have quite a big name there as well these names that I've taken and Kobe Bryant was one of them and for him to lose his life alongside his daughter who, who was going to continue his legacy you know he was very proud of his daughter and i remember and i saw a few interviews where there was a few guys saying that that she was going to continue his legacy and he was really proud of her and he was bragging and boasting about the fact that how good she was going to be at basketball um and one at one person said that kobe bryant would never ever bragged about himself even though he's one of the greatest basketballers of all time not just that one of the greatest sportsmen of our generation you know, Kobe, like I said, Kobe Bryant is somebody that I know as a basketball player. And I don't really know a lot of basketball players. Um, those are the four that I mentioned. Those are the only ones that I know. And Kobe Bryant is one of them. And for him to lose his life in, in, that, in that manner. And one thing that sportsmen really struggle with after their career is the spotlight. They don't know what to do. And apparently Kobe Bryant had a lot of projects that he was, that he was looking for to work on and improve like you know when he was working in women's basketball you know we know that he was heavily involved in his daughter's career who, who he like like he said was going to continue on his legacy um and it's so sad that he didn't just lose his own life his daughter and not just that the other seven that was on on board lost lost their lives and it just makes you feel like life is so precious and it, it can be taken away just in a split second you know we have so many plans for ourselves like he probably had he had probably had plans that you know, he was going to go to the match and then had something planned for the week after and, you know, everything was just taken away just like that. And it just puts life into perspective, you know, and he's he's a legend. Like I said, I'm not, my boxing knowledge is limited. Even then, I feel he was one of the greatest sporting icons of my era. You know, Kobe Bryant is somebody that, a guy that doesn't really follow basketball, I know who he is and that shows how, that's someone big. If you're not following a sport and you know who somebody is to that extent, it shows how big that person is, right? You don't have to follow boxing and you know who Muhammad Ali is. That shows how big Muhammad Ali was. Same with Kobe Bryant. You don't have to follow basketball, but you knew who Kobe Bryant was. Especially people of our generation. He, he, was, he was a legend, an icon. Um, and whenever you lose a legend or an icon, it's always sad. Uh, but legends, as they say, never die. They leave a legacy. And he's left an amazing legacy. Like I said, I don't know whether... I don't want to get into whether who's better, Michael Jordan, LeBron James. Because like I said, my b basketball knowledge is very limited. But I think we... I think in a time like this, comparing one another is not... We should just enjoy these great legends and icons and great players like Kobe Bryant who've entertained us um, for so many years. Um, and it's just so sad that he lost his he lost his life and his daughter lost his life at the age of 13 and he, he's only 41 he had so much to give and to the world and for him his life to be cut short in such tragic ma manner is is heartbreaking and devastating but leave your thoughts guys let me know what you think uh to the news um and rest in peace kobe bryant i'll see you guys in the next video so guys what's going on i hope you guys are well uh, a lot of you are saying that you feel that Manny Pacquiao will fight Errol Spence next. Um, I don't know where you're getting this information from. Uh, I've not heard anything about it. Um, 
what's Manny doing? Is he weighing up his options? Uh, we're obviously at the end of January. If he's going to fight in April, February, March, April. Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not. I'm honestly not sure at all. Will Manny Pacquiao fight in April? I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not. In, I, I genuinely don't know whether he will fight in April. I hope he does. Um, will he look to extend that and maybe fight in the summer? Um, because really, Manny Pacquiao fought in January, then he fought in July. That was quite a quick turnaround. But now if he fights in April, that's going to be a long time out. It's almost 10 months out of the ring. Um, why such a long gap? I don't know. Uh, because you would have expected him, if he fought in July, he'd probably fight again in January or February. Or even at the end of the year, in December. Um, but it didn't look like anything was materialising. I either think there's either two things. Either there's something really big cooking up behind the scenes that they're keeping very quiet. And there's something really being cooked that is going to shock us all. Or maybe Manny's contemplating retirement. I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't think he'll retire, if I'm honest with you. I think there's too much money for him to be, made, to be made. And there's a lot of big fights yet. And I think if he was to leave now after the Thurman win, it's a great way for him to go out because you would say he beat a champion, an undefeated champion. But you still think that Manny Pacquiao's got... A lot left after that performance. Does he know something that we don't? I don't know. Uh, but I do think that Manny Pacquiao still got a lot left in the tank. Oh, especially after beating Thurman the way he did. I thought it was he was impressive. He looked great. He looked great. You know, you have to one must say he looked amazing. Um so yeah, I think Manny should continue. Uh but at the end of the day, you know, his health is more important than anything. Um, his health is is the most important thing uh, as far as the way I look at it. I think he should, I think his health is is the utmost most important, um, and only he knows how he's feeling. Uh, but a fight with Spence is a mouth watering fight, especially. I think it makes it even more intriguing now the fact that yes, Manny's forty one. He looked great in his last fight, but actually Errol Spence is coming off an accident. How's Errol Spence gonna look? We don't know whether that accident has taken something away from Errol Spence. So there's a lot of intrigue there. And I, 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 I'm I, interested. I am interested because I've said all, along, all the way that Manny Pacquiao shouldn't fight Crawford and Spence. Back, you know, back to back. I think Manny should fight. Should He should fight the winner of Spence Crawford. So he should wait and fight for the undisputed. Maybe he could have a fight with like Connor or or an Amir Khan. So a big money fight, right? But something seen as low risk, right? Because he doesn't need a fight with someone like Porter or Danny Garcia. I think he needs a big money fight. He needs a big money fight which he'll be perceived as a heavy favourite. And then tee up a big fight down the road. Tee up a big fight down the road. Uh, I actually think that Manny should wait and wait till the winner of Crawford Spence and then fight the winner. But the problem is with that is that we don't know when Spence and Crawford are going to fight. Spence and Crawford may not fight for a while. You know, the way it's looking, it doesn't look like those guys are going to fight anytime soon. So Manny might be waiting a long time and Manny hasn't got time on his side. He's 41. Depending on how long Manny wants to continue, we don't know. He could continue till 2021, 2000. We just don't know what his goal and aim is, you know, and how how he feels physically. Because the most important thing is how you feel, right? And obviously, he's got obligations as well. So again, it's going to be interesting. But what what do you guys make of it? Leave your thoughts uh, in the comment section below. Do you think Manny Pacquiao will fight Errol Spence next? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.